Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from mysocialyou.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna talk about Instagram Reels and why you should stop ignoring Instagram Reels. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right now, let's jump right into this and I still see so many people sitting on the sidelines and not testing Instagram Reels for their personal brand or their business. And I wanna share a couple of reasons why I believe you should, why this is the right time to jump into Instagram Reels and at least test it for your brand or your business. Now, here's my uh, Instagram uh, account. And the, the first reason, you know, why you wanna ignore is organic reach and growth. On Instagram, well, if you have the budget to spend on the ads, then the tactic that works really well is create Instagram story ads and grow your account, right? But if you don't have the budget and if you wanna grow organically, Instagram Reels is a great way to grow your account organically on the platform. Now, I wanna show you something. So here's my Instagram and recently, uh, most of my content, actually all of my content is Instagram Reels. Um, and I do get, there's a lot of good engagement to this, uh, look at this. The, the likes, comments, this was today, and also the plays, video plays, and it's in thousands, right? My strategy for now is I repurpose. If I go to um, my TikTok, so I'm reusing most of my TikTok content on Instagram Reels. So, and if you look at some of uh, the reach here, it's a thousand, almost thousand, three thousand, thousand two thousand right so it's it's okay it's the average is probably two thousand recently and every once in a while if i really uh create a good piece of content that's like hundred thousand right now if we go back and look at my average here on instagram reels look at this so twelve thousand eight thousand twenty four thousand right so um with the same and then look at this thirteen fourteen two hundred and thirty eight thousand wow that piece of content kind of uh, mini viral on the platform. So as you can see, I'm personally getting more reach and engagement on Instagram Reels. Now I know, I know, I know you're probably thinking, Ali, that's you. That can be true for uh, my business. Maybe you're right, but also maybe you're wrong. Uh, what you can easily do is test it. Uh, but I am definitely seeing a lot more organic reach and engagement uh, when we're using Instagram Reels and. Uh, and I've created content and videos about this in the past where I have recommended people um, this strategy that they can use the, the reels, right? Now, let me show you something. So here's a message that I got uh, from uh, someone, from a friend of mine on uh, Instagram, right? And then he started using Instagram reels uh, because he probably saw one, some of my content uh, and it's added added followers just like I said, right? And it's not just me, you can look at other people too. So maybe there are other accounts that you follow in your niche. So go look at, if they're growing on Instagram, go look at their Instagram reels and their like feed content and do some comparison and see like what's going on. But I'm, I'm definitely seeing a lot of organic reach, engagement, and then you know leading up to growth uh, when it comes to Instagram reels. So that's the biggest reason why I think it's, it's not a smart idea to ignore uh, Instagram Reels, at least test it. Maybe if you've never done Reels, next like five pieces of content, create Reels and then test it for your business. It's very easy to, to test that, right? All right now, the second point is why I think we should not ignore Instagram Reels is actually the, the recent Instagram redesigns. So if I go back here and let's go to Instagram and I created a, a video about this recently. Instagram has changed the, the layout, the design of the app. Yes, once again. <laughs> this is probably the millionth time they've done in the last like two years. Uh, but look at the, at the bottom and look what's here. At the center, they have a separate tab for Instagram Reels, right? So what does that tell you? Well, Instagram Reels is their main focus and obviously, Instagram wants to compete with TikTok um, and they are they want to put that feature at the front and center of their product. Um, so it's also, you know, from their redesign, 
also there's a I get this sense that they're gonna be more fo uh, focused more on Instagram reels maybe they they might release more feature inside to help us create better content and also I believe uh, people who are using reels and this has been I've seen this many times whenever there's like new features people who use those new, new features in the beginning they get a lot of benefit right so that's what I would say you know look at the organic reach and also look at the the, the signs that we are getting from Instagram. I think uh, we should not ignore Instagram Reels, at least test it. If you've never done Reels, next five pieces of content, create Reels. Now, the other thing is when you do post Reels, uh, there are two things I would mention. Number one is um, do use hashtags. So the relevant hashtags for your business, use those. And that's number one. And number two is also share your Reels um, in your feed post. So there's an option when you post the reels, there's an option where you can turn that on and uh, share that pe uh, reel content on your feed post as well. I think you do get uh, more exposure. I do have a video on my channel where I did the comparison of posting Instagram reels on the feed versus not, and it was actually much, much better as far as the reach and engagement and growth when I did the when I did share the reels. Now, I know the big question you're probably thinking, hashtag, how do you search the hashtag? The, the thing I would say is the hashtag, when it comes to Instagram, hashtags are still, uh, you absolutely have to use hashtag because people do still use Instagram, especially on the mobile, when they want to search something, they typically use hashtag. Keywords are coming. That's another thing. Keyword uh, targeting or keyword search is coming, but right now people use hashtags. So I would strongly recommend, I've talked about this tool in the past, uh, my favorite tool to do Instagram hashtag research is flick.tech. And the reason I like this tool is there's so many tools about Instagram hashtags, right? Let me log in. The reason I like this tool is when you uh, basically create an account and you can actually test it out for free, uh, you are able to, you'll add your Instagram account. So I've added several. Uh, and then the biggest thing is when you find hashtags, here's what I love about this tool. So for example, my niche is uh, social media, right? So I'm gonna put social media, let's do that. Oh, actually, let me go back. Let me go back to the find hashtag. There's something here I wanna show you which is very, very important. Ooh, my internet is slowing down now, here we are, okay. Uh, it already did that. Anyways, we, we can do it from here as well. Let's see. Uh, here you go. So when you search the hashtags, you can put a filter, and there's a, a filter called Smart Filter, right? So what does that mean? So you create an account on Flick, then you add your Instagram account to it, and then Flick, when you search for hashtag. Flick looks at the performance of your account, right? Some people have a lot of followers, some people have a small account, some people have more engagement, some people have you know, less engagement, right? So what you wanna avoid is use hashtags that you have no chance of getting ranked in. For example, if I have a small account, so my account is fairly small, you know, 40,000. Uh, if I use hashtags that have, uh, you know, millions and millions, like 30 million, for example, right here. If I use hashtag like social media, this hashtag has like 21 million posts and daily active uh, post count, right? So 13,000 posts are made with that hashtag every single day. Guess what? If I use that hashtag, yeah, I'm using hashtag, but I may never get ranked. I'm, and I may never get any benefit from that use of that hashtag. So that's a, the, the biggest thing I like about Flick. I do have a detailed tutorial of this tool too. I'll uh, link that video in the description below so you can check it out after watching this video. And if you wanna try this uh, tool, uh, I'll, I'll share my link too. Yes, I am an affiliate for Flick, but it's one of the best tools when it comes to uh, Instagram hashtags. The other thing that I like about, so you're able to search hashtags using Flick based on your account, that's very important, right? It takes the, the performance of your account into, into consideration. The other thing is when you are, you, you're able to build like hashtag collections, and this is something I talk about all the time. 
uh, if you, you know, you, maybe you post about marketing and business and entrepreneurship, you have all the different types of or different themes, then you can create different collections. So that's another thing you can do. And uh, one last thing about the Flick is you're able, once you use hashtag on a consistent basis, you're able to see which hashtag, for example, right here, which hashtags you're ranking for. Yes, yes, there's, that's very important. You're able to see if you're ranking for those hashtags or not. Uh, I'll leave a link to the, the video about uh, Flick in the description so you can watch that after completing this video. But yes, going back to Instagram Reels, do not ignore those, test those, and also when you post Reels, use the right hashtags and do share those to your uh, Instagram feed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those questions below in the comments.